Hey guys, the Cell Talker here. In the past, I collected cell phones. I never got around to make a video of those years ago until now. So I show you guys the box of cell phones I have on Twitter, and everyone wanted a video of it in a poll here, which is from two months ago. So here you go. First up is the one and only my main phone the Samsung Galaxy A8 2018. I was originally wanted the A8 Plus 2018, but my relatives won't let me buy a phone that costs over 2,000 ringgit. So yeah, that sucks since Samsung Malaysia didn't sell the 64GB variant of it. Probably because the 64GB is only available in several regions, so yeah, god damn you Samsung. <laughs> I wanted the blue version of it because I figured it's the dark blue version of Blue Coral like on the Note 7 but that wasn't available in Malaysia either so I opted for Ok Grey instead. Otherwise it's a pretty nice phone and it's one of my first tall screen phone I have ever owned. Wanna know why I bought this? I'll get to that story later when I get to the A5 2016 that I have. This phone ships with Android 7.1.1 Nougat out of the box but it is upgradable up to Android 9.0 Pi with One UI. On mine, I didn't get the update till late April because well, Samsung is always slow on updates. Speaking of update, it's currently running Android 8.0.0 Oreo, not even 8.1 as I am recording this video. Looking at Accu battery, I have 11% wear on the battery because I didn't treat battery properly so uh, whoops. I wanted to make a video review of it once I got One UI update but I don't have other usable phone to record it which is unfortunate. So yeah, that's the Galaxy A8 2018. Next phone. So this is my third Android phone I have ever used the Samsung Galaxy Note 1 from 2011. This is Samsung's first ever Galaxy Note that was ever released. And they implemented their signature stylus, especially for their series of phones, the S Pen. The phone turns on, but the AMOLED screen is busted due to my mom broke it while I was away at school since I have it hidden in my pillowcase. When she tidied up my bed, it slipped and dropped face down. That happened way back in mid-2016. I can still operate it with the S Pen which is awesome, but then the camera is busted later on. Plus, it had Android 4.0 ICS or Ice Cream Sandwich, whatever. Next up is my beloved Samsung Galaxy A5 2016. It looks like a typical A5 2016, but you guys might be wondering why am I taping the glass back? It's because I don't want further scratches on it. Wanna know why it's there? Well, this is the state of it. It's screenless like my Note 1. Everything works except there's no screen. I wanted to make this as my second phone but the problem was the OLED screen was so darn expensive compared with LCD. And another problem is that the battery was swollen which was my fault. Only two parts that need to be replaced and it should be a fully working phone again. But right now, I am broke for that so I'll save up in the future. Before I'll get to the next phone, here's the story on how I broke it. Back in April 9th of 2018, when I was heading home from college, I had to put the chair back to the original spot but I hold my phone next to it. But then, I dropped it. It hit the wood table first and then hit the concrete face down. I have it with the case and glass screen protector on. When I head home, try to use Grab just to go home because no one else want to pick me up. As soon as I try to use it, the touch screen start working. So I started to panic. I don't know which hit that crappy OLED panel, there's a possibility that it could be the wood. So yeah, that's how I broke my Galaxy A5 2016. And I've been using it for almost 2 years now which I forgot to mention. Then I bought a Galaxy A8 2018 4 days later to replace it. And now moving on to the next phone. Next phone is the cheap Asus Zenfone from 2014. 
the Zenfone 4. When it was first released, this phone costs whopping 299 ringgit, which is under 75 US dollars, which is a good deal for the phone. But in today's standard, I don't think it's worth using it since Android phone with Intel chips are not ideal. And this phone is also screenless. When I got it, the screen is just wide when I powered it on. But if it turns out to be a screen problem, I might restore this phone back to mint condition. If not, I'll keep it as a display phone. This phone does turn on but unusable without the screen which is unfortunate. Otherwise, time to move on to the next phone. Next up is Sony Xperia E. Yeah, this phone was used to be my sister's phone to make up for her water damage Lumia 920 and yuppu, it's in rough shape while it's in my other brother's possession. And now I had a bag which is cool. This phone is currently running Sayonara Jamaat 11. Yeah, you haven't heard of that for a very long time since it got discontinued back in late 2016 before Lineage OS was a thing. It's very unusable to use as my spare phone because of how slow it was but still, it's nice to have in my collection because it has very, very cool light on the bottom. But for now, let's move on to the next one. Next is some kind of phone from a brand I have never heard before. This is Nintology Pearl Mini. I cracked the glass when I had to clean it up, but I don't really care about that. And I had the back cover sent it off because of the glossy back, which is a fingerprint magnet. Yes, this phone does turn on and working, but eh, it's not a daily driver material by today's standards. Because it's running Android 2.3 Gingerbread. Otherwise, cool phone from 2012 by a Malaysian manufacturer. Next up is smaller phones. No, not that very small phone like this, but actually bigger than world's smallest phone. First in the turn is the Samsung Galaxy Pocket Neo. When I had it, it got stuck to the logo. As it turns out, the ROM was presumably corrupted or got blanked. So I installed CM11 on it and it works absolutely fine. But I had to flash stock firmware a couple long while later because well, want to make the phone look stock as possible. It had Android 4.1 Jelly Bean out of the box but it is sluggish and makes you freak out the longer you're using it. But otherwise, this had no use to it as well. Next turn is my beloved Samsung Galaxy Y. It was featured in this phone in 2018 or 2019 video which turned out to be a mixed feeling video IMO because of the comments I get when I compare my A8 2018 with this ancient phone. Anyway, this is not the first unit I had but this is my first Android phone I have ever used. Unfortunately, Google dropped the support for gingerbread and below anymore so I consider this phone useless unless if you're using it as a basic phone. Look at how much scratch the screen was. The screen was not made with glass so you may consider a screen protector for this thing. Yeah, you get that generic everything joke there. It scratches at level 3. Next one in the collection is another Samsung Galaxy Y. It does turn on but the problem was it wasn't detecting battery correctly. If you had charge battery on, it detects as 0% charge which is odd thing. Consider that I found some evidence of liquid damage under the shield of the motherboard. Not worth it to fix it but eh, this phone is old anyways. Last but not least is the oldest Android phone I have ever owned. The Galaxy Europa model GTI 5503. I got this from my mom's friend of her which had digitized the problem but when I take it apart, the problem was discovered. The digitizer was disconnected so I had to plug it back into the board and it does work which is great. So I'm gonna keep it as a shell phone since it's running Froyo and Google dropped the support for legacy versions of Android, at least for Play Store. And yes, I used the Galaxy Pocket Neo battery. It fits snugly on the Galaxy Europa but the back cover would not fit correctly if I had the Galaxy Pocket Neo battery on unless I do some hack with the plastic tab. Tengamajig. So yeah, that's going to be a wrap up of this video. It took two months to make because I was lacking. Whoops. But hope that you enjoyed the video. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss new videos from me. Catch y'all later. The Tail Taco signing out. Peace.